What's up guys? Let's talk squirrel ammo for a second. For 22, guy who runs 22 shooting squirrels, which is my favorite cartridge to hunt a squirrel with. I have gotten into the 17 Mach 2s, but we'll save that for another time. This ammo, uh, April 2013, is very difficult to find. I sympathize with all of you out there that are in the current hunt looking for 22 ammo. If you're a hunter, if you're a shooter, whatever. I um, embrace both sides of it. So, some of the stuff I run, and just everything down here, uh, these three guys right here, you may be hard pressed to get to run in a, a, a semi-auto. The mini mags will have no trouble in a semi-auto. Uh, we got a subsonic round here, got a standard velocity round here, and another subsonic round here. Uh, the standard velocities may possibly work in a semi-auto. I'm mostly a bolt gun guy though. Uh, that's a newfound love for me, it, uh, being as a bolt gun, being I used to run a 1022 and a Remington 597. That's where, that's where I started. All right, this is a Gillia Super Extra Subsonic. Get her to focus up here. Take a look at this box right here. Uh, for a Mexican loaded ammo, it's pretty good. I've been impressed. You know, somewhere around a three and a three to three and a half uh, dollar mark for a box of fifty. That's pre panic prices. Um, it's a good ammo that runs. I run this round in my CZ Ultra Lux. Get her to focus up here. See, it's got a pretty good hollow point. I, I do like hollow points, but I am not afraid to shoot a a solid round at a squirrel. Uh, runs about what I understand 1025 to 1035 feet per second <clears throat> which cer certainly puts it in the subsonic range good hard hitting round for me hunting a squirrel I want a head shot that's usually my choice head if I can't get a head I will take a body shot I will take a body shot with these hollow point rounds I won't take a hollow uh, a body shot with a solid solid tip round it to me it won't put the squirrel down as quick as the squirrel needs to be put down so i want a headshot with that all right so next up in the line is a match ammo wow you use match ammo to hunt squirrels with i sure do matter of fact before i get to speaking about it let me show you why Take a look at a target when I fired. This right here was fired at 50 yards. Three shots of that same solid round right there. This is the group I got at 50 yards off the bench. That's crazy impressive. 50 yards, three rounds touching. So why do I shoot a solid match tip ammo? That's why. Because it's that accurate. I really don't have to worry about missing. I do my part. If I do my part, the ammo will do his part. So this ammo is loaded by Lapua. Uh, I'll just say that's in Germany. It's supposed to be the equivalent to Wolf Match Target. Really like it. Uh, it is almost like it's in this Vaseline type lubricant all over the cartridge, all over the. Um, actual bullet it's very slick to the touch kind of tacky got a little bit of a tack to it but you'll see it's a solid lead nose 40 grain round and it will absolutely smack a squirrel given you put it in the right spot now they do make hollow pointing tools to um, <clears throat> actually make a dimple in the tip of that lead bullet so that maybe you can affect a quicker kill, a cleaner kill, maybe if you want to take a body shot. I've been experienced, or experimenting, not experienced, experimenting with the Neil Waltz die. I uh, haven't done enough with it yet to uh, be able to make it what I want it to do. I'm still shooting it solid tipped. When I hollow point them and I do a deep cavity hollow point, I get a variance in, or a distortion in my groups. 
and I'm not happy with it yet. It, it loses the accuracy that I need and I just soon put it in the squirrel's head with a solid tip and be done with it. Type of hollow point I would actually like to put on uh, this round right here comes in this round right here. Do you want to talk about a round that's very, very difficult to find right now? It would be these Winchesters. These are subsonic hollow points, truncated cones, very difficult to find. Let me discuss price on Standard Plus. These pre panic prices, five to five fifty a box of fifty. Uh, I've seen some places high as a hundred dollars for a brick of fifty, and that's way overpriced. Up to you. If you can't get it, you may be willing to pay that. Anyway, back to the Winchester round. Check out the hollow point on this guy right here. It is absolutely outstanding, and it's very accurate. Don't know the feet per second on this guy right here. I know my Brown and T-Bolt likes it. I know my CZ Scout likes it. I know one of my CZ Americans likes it. It's an outstanding round, and it will absolutely devastate a squirrel whether you hit them in the chest or you hit them in the head. Price on those Winchesters, about $3.50 pre panic prices per 50. Sometimes you could find them as low as uh, $2.99. We'll go back to that same target, two shot group, only at 35 yards. Your focus there. When I had slapped uh, my Clear Ridge Ultra REM on top, and took my Weaver two and a half by seven off. I took two shots of 35 yards. They touched one another. I quit right there. About a half an inch high with a subsonic round for me at 50 yards is dead on. So I'm a half inch high at 35, half inch high at 25. I keep dope on all my rifles, depending on what rifle I take out. It depends, you know, I need to review that that uh, information on that rifle so that I know where I need to aim uh, at certain distances for for gain. One of the most popular rounds and probably one of the most popular rounds that's used for squirrels is a CCI mini mag. 36 grain hollow point. And you can get these in 40 grain uh, solids but the uh, I like that hollow point. You see 1260 feet per second Everybody's seen a sleeve of mini mags. Anybody that's ever messed with a 22. Remember my grandpa toting these in his pocket, jingling when we'd go squirrel hunting back in the day. All right, so this is a copper washed round. It's got a okay hollow point in the end of it. Uh, I find these a little more difficult to uh, chamber in a CZ due to this band where my thumbnail is right here called a forcing band it runs a little bit longer than on most rounds and on a match or semi-match chamber you have a little more difficulty trying to chamber that round but 16 inch american loves those guys and i find it ironic that shortest barreled rifle i got which i'm trying to keep the quietest likes the louder rounds and your prices on cci mini mag Pre-panic prices was about seven dollars and fifty cent per hundred. So pretty good uh, spectrum of what I like to use. Maybe what you use, uh, something to look at. If you run a bolt gun, lever gun, pump action, twenty-two subsonics, standard velocities will work in that without a hitch. You're going to run a semi-auto and you're going to try to run a subsonic. You're probably going to have to manually end up operating the bolt. But these are what most of my rifles like. They are very difficult to find right now. And I feel for you guys who can't get your hands on some stuff. Maybe we'll get some uh, stocks back up and everybody will be able to grab a brick or so and be able to go and squirrel hunt again this coming season. All right, guys. Just my take. Just some of the variety of stuff I use in, in some of my guns. The, the biggest piece of advice I can give you is try a few different ones out. Find out what that rifle has a diet for and stick with that. That's the best advice I can give you. Thanks for tuning in.